Hey, this is Jason Bellamy at Builder Buddy. I'm going to go over an inspection report of a home built in West Asheville, and it was about 12 years old at the time of the inspection. I would call this a spec home or maybe a custom, semi custom home. So, this was likely built by a small to medium sized local builder. Uh, maybe the original buyer was able to choose some of the finishes. Um, so that is what a spec or semi-custom uh, home is. So 12 years old. Um, in this case, this house likely had not been painted or stained uh, since it was built. You can see the um, fiber cement siding here is very faded. Same with the wood siding. The wood siding really should be stained every three years and the fiber cement should be painted and the uh, trim here be painted every eight years. So we'll uh, scroll down and see uh, some of the defects here. So we had 21 blue items, six orange and three red. Overall a good report. This, this inspection report is kind of, I call it somewhat typical of the type of the age and type of the home uh, so we have some notes here uh, we did have a lot of mature trees near the building and this it can be hard on the gutter system and can cause gutter overflow and residual water damages and it can also damage the siding trim and roofing of the home which we saw some of that here uh, we did see that the driveway slopes toward the home, no curb or other um, strategy to direct water away from the home. This had a superior wall precast foundation system. It's pretty good at uh, resisting water penetration, but uh, over time water can and will find a way. So I am highly recommending that the buyer take steps to direct water away from the foundation area. So siding and trim, so this house had not been stained or painted, likely uh, since it was built, and that's starting to show at areas. If uh, this continues, likely in another five years, we're going to see a lot of decay at, around these windows, especially. Uh, carpenter bees, when it, especially for um, stained wood um, and roof framing areas and decks, carpenter bees are very common in our area. And uh, these homes should be treated every year. Scrolling down, so yeah, the driveway slopes toward the home. Um, again, we want to direct that water away. Newer chimneys typically are, they're not, uh, they don't have clay flues. Typically, they're, uh, in this case, it's a wood framed chimney with a metal cap and a flue. So uh, that's what we like to see. Those are generally lower maintenance. There are there's some evidence of our damaged uh, roof shingles from the trees. This had a detached building, and they had me inspect that detached building as well. And because of some improperly installed gutters, they were and we were seeing uh, quite a bit of decay at these rafter tails. Uh, so it's really important to have properly installed and maintained gutter systems. Uh, there, we did see a lot of carpenter bee damage. We saw some siding framing at or near grade with the grade sloping toward the building. And so it's important. These detached buildings, they cost a lot of money. It's important to uh, maintain them as well or spend a little bit more money um, building them to the right specifications to help um, to extend their life expectancy. So this had this is a superior wall foundation system, precast, all-in-one system that's insulated and ready for drywall. That's what we saw in the basement. Uh, we had engineer trusses. There's our PEX plumbing. Here is our furnace, uh, Goodman furnace in the basement. And we had natural gas. And we have it. We like to show our plumbing components. These are just information items. So in the basement, uh, the
bathroom and shower were likely lower than the main sewer line going out to the municipality. So in this case, you need what's called a septic lift station. And uh, it's basically a basin with a float valve assembly it tells uh, the pump when it is full and then it pumps out. It should have an alarm system. Um, so that's your septic lift station. I believe this had an original water heater. Here's your expansion tank, which protects uh, the plumbing system from failing water heaters uh, too too high pressure or too hot. Um, here's your main clean out or your um, your drain system, your main shutoff. This is what it looks like typically under a uh, under the kitchen sink. Here's your jet tub pump. This house, um, this was a bit strange that this was a uh, city house, a house in West Asheville that had uh, some pretty advanced water filtration equipment. Typically, this is only recommended for well systems. This is what uh, this indicates here. Oh, there's your main shutoff. This indicates a radon mitigation system. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a minute here. And some minor um, plumbing notes. Some minor electrical notes. Smoke detectors after the 10 year mark are, to, are should be replaced. So we're seeing that here. This uh, house was an Energy Star house. And here's some information about the heating and cooling equipment. It looked like it had been uh, partially upgraded and had an HRV system. Here we can see, uh, look at all this duct work in the basement here with the uh, HRV system and the HRV control. The heating was good at the time of the inspection. So here is your uh, radon fan. And this does not tell us the levels of radon in the home. This is a, a manometer and it, tell, it just tells us that the system is under pressure and that the fan is working. So radon was low in this home. Uh, the you could see at the floor registers there was more than typical uh, dirt and dander, and that's because the previous occupants likely had a lot of pets. And we also saw residual pet damages, you know, at the finishes and like flooring and door trim, which is common with houses with lots of pets in this home. You could see one cloudy window, so the energy seal was failing here. We had some minor cosmetic items having no, nothing to do with structural concerns, just sort of a drywall cosmetic aberrations. And we, there's our fireplace with the metal flue and our appliances. And that's it. So um, we really did not have many uh, what we call talking points. We did have in this uh, inspection, we this uh, grading concern, we didn't see evidence of water penetration in the basement, but over time that could cause issues. It's definitely time to stain and paint this house. And um, the, we did have some aging components. So that this is a 12 year year uh, semi-custom spec home in West Asheville. Thank you for watching.